Hey everyone, and welcome to this video, how to do Chaturanga Dandasana, AKA a tricep push-up. It is one of the main movements of a vinyasa. So I do have a how to vinyasa also on this channel. So you can check that out. Um, but I want today to kind of discuss this movement because since a lot of us are doing yoga at home right now, yoga videos, yoga when we travel, you want to make sure our form is right. All right. So in order to do that, I'm going to line us up properly for this, um, for this exercise. So Chaturanga Dandasana, tricep push-up, Chaturanga, chat, whatever people call it, um, needs to be set up with plank pose. And then from plank is how we lower. So grab two blocks if you'd like to. They can be really helpful in helping you set up. And then your fingertips, they come right behind the blocks, okay? So What's important here is that your hands line up directly behind these blocks as you come to plank. Now, if you don't have blocks, stack a few books to make the height of the block, height of the blocks or something else firm. Now, what's important is that a normal push-up or elbows would go out wide, but in this push-up, the elbows go back. So take a deep breath in, exhale, put your knees down, all right? Now, that doesn't mean drop the pelvis, and that also doesn't mean pop the butt. What that means is in plank, you'll see everything in my low back is aligned. I'm not up here, and I'm not hanging out down here. A lot of us do plank like this. We wanna pick up that low back. So make sure that that curvature in your lumbar spine is hugging in the whole time so that your pelvic floor and your pelvis are tight, all right? Now, once we have the pelvis aligned, we'll drop. The shoulders are gonna come forward and they're gonna tap the blocks. So this is Chaturanga. It's a 90 degree angle on the side. My stomach is elevated, it's not down here. It's lifting and then my triceps, the back of my arms are working, which is where you press up, all right? So my chin is up, my eyes are forward, lower, press. You can also pick up your feet if you want lower, press. Now that is a chaturanga push-up. That's a knee down version. In a vinyasa, you can either lower all the way down to your stomach from chaturanga to go into cobra or up dog, which is what I demonstrated in the how to vinyasa video. But for a chaturanga purpose, we always want to know arms out 90 degrees. So your elbows don't ever go under the body. So don't allow that to be a habit because that will be a crutch for you. Keep those arms alongside the body the whole time, okay? So arms come forward, plank pose. Exhale, knee down plank. Inhale, keep your toes on the ground or pull them to your heel, to your butt. Exhale, chaturanga push up and straighten your arms, all right? I'm gonna just turn to the side, going long ways so you can see me from the front. So I'm gonna put my blocks right here for you. Place my hands behind the blocks. Notice that my shoulders, you know, good shoulder distance apart. I'm not trying to keep my hands tight. Step back, exhale, knees down, keeping my toes down this round, shoulders, and straight. So if my blocks were not there, all right? What's really important is that your shoulders don't go here, meaning they don't come together, all right? You wanna stay open, lower, inhale, exhale, press. So the back of the arm, the tricep is getting the work, all right? So what does this look like on our toes? Hands are flat, stomach is lifted, this is where you decide, am I strong enough to do this pose without blocks or without my knees, or do I need my blocks and need my knees? And whatever that answer is, is totally fine, but listen to that answer, guys, because sometimes we don't listen to that answer and then we end up dipping our hips the whole time or falling to the ground or hurting our shoulders, and that's the last thing we want in yoga. All right, so here, I'm gonna decide that I'm strong enough to do the pose, but I still want my blocks. So I'm gonna inhale, look forward, strong plank, Exhale, chaturanga, all right? And then from here, normally I would transition. Here's my back bend. Again, we're not reviewing that today. So chaturanga push up, back up. 
look forward, push up, up, look forward, push up, up. So, is that hard? Heck yeah, it's hard. My heart rate's up right away. You can definitely feel the work in the back of my arms. And you should also feel your chest. Your pecs are also assisting this motion as they are part of the push muscles in the body, which is part of this exercise. Now, if I were to remove my blocks out of this, what's important is that I keep my chest forward. So, belly is elevated, inhale, high plank. Exhale, eyes forward, lower, press. A lot of people do this. They go here, really low to the ground. Why is that bad, guys? Because it really hurts the top of our shoulders. It hurts that bicep tendon. It's not where the shoulders should be going in order to be supported. Because when your shoulders drop too low, that's way too much weight on an area of the body that shouldn't be holding our weight. Now there are yoga poses that put us there, but they sequence us there in the right way, like a chin stand. Your shoulders would go that low, all right? But in something like Chaturanga, we don't want all of our weight dipping down. So it's not a dive, it's a straight plank down and then a back bend, all right? So let me show you that again. My chest is open facing this front wall. My hips are active and my legs are in use, so I'm not bending. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 90 degrees, stop, straighten. 90 degrees, stop, straighten. All right? That's your how-to chaturanga for the day. Your next question is probably, how do I get strong enough to do that if I can't do it? More and more planks, more and more uses with your blocks where you're resting your shoulders on the blocks to allow yourself to not go too close to the ground. More tricep exercises. So bent over tricep kickbacks, holding dumbbells. Overhead tricep extensions, holding something over and behind your head. Maybe a tricep dip, so if you have a bench or something on the ground, all right? So look up those tricep exercises, keep practicing your planks, and remember, it's totally okay to drop your knees so you don't go too far. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions on how to, please feel free to comment below or shoot me an email if you have anything further. Thank you.